The first day we went to the Aspo, we discovered the Black Series Overland Trailer. We were so amazed by these unique trailers. The independent high clearance suspension is a benefit for getting you deeper into the backcountry. The Black Series headquarters are unique trailers that put luxury at the top of the list for something considered as an off-road camper. Whether you are an adventurer in the boondocks or not, check out the video. You'll be surprised by the design. Oh, here! Oh my god, look at that! Lake Havasu is well known by its water activities. What else you can do if you're not on water? The next day, we are going for a motorcycle ride. See what John is excited about. Are you okay. sure? Okay, let's gear you up, huh? Take it, go on. Johnny is ready for a motorcycle ride. We have never seen Johnny get so excited for a motorcycle ride. So join the ride with us as we are going to ride the famous Route 66. The old mining town, Oatman. Guess what this town is famous for? Donkeys, mules, or burros? The answer is all three. They're the same animal, but they tend to prowl around town looking for tourists to feed them, so they end up being the pests of the city. Another reason that makes this town famous is that the Clark Gable and Carol Lombard honeymooned at the Oman Hotel on March 18, 1939. Their honeymoon suite is still one of the major attractions at the Oman Hotel. Well, we made it to Oatman. Nice drive here. Hardly went above 40 miles an hour just because uh, it's a pretty rough road, but a beautiful drive as you can see. What do you think? First time in Oatman. Yeah. Pretty fun, huh? First impression, we see all the donkeys on the street. It, it was kind of interesting and funny and exciting. And we said, hey, donkey, donkey everywhere. That's fun, and wasn't it? It's <laughs> chasing you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden. All of a sudden, it went downhill. Oh, they're kind of mean. <laughs> They, they just, want food and they just get really close they'll to bite you. or kick you yeah and then look for food and they'll do you do <laughs> like this. pushy huh and then once we, oh when you come here with your pads don't put them on the ground yeah yeah don't put them on the ground because they get hurt by the burrows yeah because the first time i put johnny down to the ground there's a, a donkey just came over right away and then put his food on johnny I said, oh my god, they are mean. They <laughs> no, they just want them out of the way. They're annoyed. They don't like them. Oh, they don't huh. like dogs. Yeah, so... Because dogs chase them sometimes, probably. Dog chase them sometimes? Yeah, big dogs, sure. Oh, there's one donkey coming. Yeah. 
careful. Don't let him smell Johnny. Go away, dog. Big dog. <laughs> he just come over. They always come over to you and they look for food. This yeah. is an old town. We'll have to do some more history on it. It's an old mining town, right? Yeah. Oban is a village in the Black Mountains of the Mojave County, Arizona. Located at an elevation of 2,710 feet. So Oman was named in honor of Olive Oatman, who was a young girl from Illinois, was kidnapped by Apache tribe, sold to Mojave Indians, and later rescued in a trade in 1857, near the current site of the town. Oatman began as a small mining camp soon after two prospectors struck a $10 million gold find in 1915. Oatman's population grew to more than 3,500 people in the course of a year. The both of the population and the mining booms were short-lived. In 1921, a fire burned down many of the smaller shacks in town. And three years later, the main mining company, United Eastern Mines, shut down operation for good. So Oatman survived by catering to travelers on an old U.S. Route 66. But in the 60s, when the route became what is now Interstate 40, Oatman almost died. Uh -huh. yeah, we uh, ate at the old hotel, Oatman Hotel. I know that's like 100 years old. Yeah, All the dollar right. bills inside. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, good, how are you? Good. We're going to get you a drink, right? <laughs> Good wallpaper, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the little dog on you? Hi, baby. Oh, just chilling. <laughs> How cute. You want something to drink for you? Yeah. You wouldn't have a Stella, would you? I do. How oh, do you? Stella do. Stella works for me. Okay. I would just have some water. Water. Yeah. So oddly enough, I just put those together. My daughter has a dog that looks like that named Stella. <laughs> <laughs> What to eat? Here's some uh, specialties. Cactus cooler, desert death, donkey pee, snake bite, pink lizard, cactus juice, blushing burrow, and oatman punch. Did you have brisket on the menu, I thought, next door? Or? Yesterday we had that on special. Oh, yeah. They must have not changed the Oh, they didn't, yet. yeah. It was so good, oh, too. I'm no, sorry. Don't even tell me <laughs> <laughs> he had a homemade Russian barbecue sauce with it, and oh, oh my god. Vegan fries. That's funny when people ask me, do we have a vegan menu? I'm like, we do four doors up on the right, they sell the burrow pellets, alfalfa. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh my god. That's <laughs> so hilarious. Vegetarian is an old Indian word that means poor hunter. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got to see a sh shootout, huh? Watch your ears, folks. We're gonna fire a shot off. Let people know we're getting ready to do a show here. Watch your ears, hey, baby. Watch your ears. Be ready for it. You guys think I can take him on the count of three? Yeah! I think you better ride out. <laughs> One, two, four, five. <laughs> I knew you couldn't count. What? What happened to three? What? Three! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> you cheated. He said shoot on three. <laughs> Welcome to the Mayor's Home, ladies and gentlemen. How'd Johnny like the gunfire? He was, sh he was shaking up so bad because of a gunshot. So loud, so I have to took him, him away. No, away. I didn't know I can go inside, so I just took him far further down there. But I cannot really uh, live too far away because I'm afraid that if I'm uh, alone by myself, what if a donkey come come to us and uh, attack us? <laughs> so I try to stay close as a, to the crowd. <laughs> He's so scared now. Are you ready to go? You well, want let's to go, go north. Yeah, let's go. Okay.
Breeze Pass. We made it. Elevation 3550. Everything's downhill from here. So we are on the, from Otman on, on the way, way to Kimpman. So yeah. this is the highest peak. After coming down the summit from Sitgraves Pass, we were shocked to see the pristine relic sitting along the otherwise empty stretch of Route 66. Cool Springs service station had been a ruin, nothing more than a blackened pile of rocks, until 2001 when it was restored. Cool Springs service station was built in the 20s and eventually had a cafe, a bar, and a cabin, but Route 66 was bypassed in 53 and the station was abandoned in 1964. Adding insult to injury, its ruins were blown up for the 1991 Lundgren Van Damme film Universal Soldier. We're happy to know that this historic site has been restored to its original Cool Springs gas station view, although they don't sell gas anymore. We hope you enjoy the motorcycle ride to Route 66 and the little town Oldman. Next day, we walk around the London Bridge, ran into a classic car show, and of course, can miss boating on Lake Havasu. Subscribe and click the bell to get notified when next video is out. Give us a like, share, and a comment about this video below. Also, consider to be our patrons to keep the production going. We'll see you next time on La Vie Flotante, the LVF.